Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second round game between the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Virginia Cavaliers. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Cavaliers should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Next, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket. Grab the glass. Get after the boards. Lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Way off target. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Trying to feed the low block. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They work the perimeter. Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. For the bucket. He gets it to go. The shooting guard handles the pass. Number 21. Pump fakes. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacting and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They go into the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Moving it around the perimeter. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. On the inside for two and off the mark. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Number 44 is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The shot from the baseline, way off target. The point guard receives the pass. High post player flashing. Number 43 picks up the foul. First personal foul. He's got some room. He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the outside, number 20 handles the feed. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Number 23 steals the ball. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The shooting guard receives the ball. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. There's the block. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. And he missed. He up fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Defense giving some room. He gets the bucket. Got a man in high post. Takes the pass in the paint. Now gets the hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He gets it to go.
Working it around the perimeter. Pump fakes. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. High post flashes. Here's a double team. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. the perimeter here's the offensive drop step in the low block but better defense I tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline tempo of the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo now they work it around the perimeter from the top of the circle he misses the tray He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. High post flasher is open. Puts it up looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. For two, they still don't score. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Right at the circle, Oakland are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He's got to get rid of it. Turnaround jumper. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For the bucket and off the mark. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. They've left him completely alone. They move it into the front court. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Drains the shot. Rejects it. He puts it in with contact and all. Now 
he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. He makes a nice shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Look at that spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the key. Makes it. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Stolen away. The ball goes out play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Up and inside. Nice high post screen. Can't get the shot to go. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They've got a player spotting up on the three. He tries to knock down the three. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. The skip pass is picked off. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, it sticks. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number 44 with the theft. Up and inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. Looking for a good shot. There's a high screen. He is going to the line. He makes it. And he got them both.
There's the trap. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Key to the post. They'll work it around the arc. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. With a deep shot from outside. Tough offensive uh, defensive rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Take some pride on the defensive end. Virginia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Shoots it. Way off target. Dick, how do these guys stay so fresh on defense? Hey, three words, Brad. Rotation, rotation, and rotation. They're playing like a true team out there, supporting one another when there's a breakdown. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Oh, what a strip, Red. Transition opportunity coming up. Jumps in. Virginia are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They're working around the perimeter. Playing for the steal in the post, and what a facial on that one. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews, and she's got a score for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two, in and out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From beyond the arc. They let him get into a rhythm. Number 
Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Kicks it out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Can't get the shot to drop. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots. The Golden Grizzlies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. it around the arc he attempts the trifecta he gets it to fall let's see if they go two for one here Brad he fires it up sinks it Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it back to the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. Controlling the ball. He dials long distance. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Golden Grizzlies are up by seven. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Virginia has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Got the shot if he wants it. For the deuce. Great shot. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Fakes a jumper. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Dumps it in on the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh. 
little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. On the outside. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. There's the fake. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Picks off the lazy pass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Oakland are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He shoots from the top of the circle. No good. perimeter sets a screen for his teammate great play to take that to the basket on the dribble gives it up and there's a lazy pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way now they work it around the perimeter he fires from long range Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes a three. He drains it. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point land. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. And a momentary look from three-point land. He launches a three. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Got the high pick. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number 23 goes to the line. Gets the first shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Tries for two. They still don't score. Up and inside. The point guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Jumps into the defender. The Cavaliers are behind by 15. Gave it up. For two. Off the rim and no good. The center takes the pass. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Turnaround jumper. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Inside. Takes the pass in the paint. 
Number 44 makes a great move to draw the foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. It's two at the charity strike. Fancy, too much mustard there. Tries for two. Up for the lay-in. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they're working around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Took that screen away. He tries a jump hook. Doesn't go. Number 44 is receiving a lot of support from the fans. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He intercepts it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Pull-up jumper from way out. Tickles the twine. First, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside, he makes the block. Gives it up. On the outside, the small forward takes the feed. He tries the three.
Number 44 with the foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. No get back, no stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. They're working around the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. He puts up the tray. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twenty, though. with the free throw. He hits his first. Gets them both. Makes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. The power forward with the ball. It's stolen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Steals the pass. Here's a double team. He comes away with it. a nice look at the basket. Virginia are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they'll bring it up. Drains the shot. We'll show you another angle from the booth. it he throws it deep and a momentary look from three-point land he unloads a three can't seem to find the stroke from the arctic and they're missing wide open looks too brad gave it up they go inside and now back outside i tell you inside outside action always works very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He throws it up from downtown. Rims out. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. On the dribble, gives it up. They work the perimeter. 
Stolen ball. For two, Virginia have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Step out on that screener. He gives him the fake. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Pulls down the board. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. For the bucket. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. Tears it away. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Gave it up. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the angle. He doesn't get the hoop. Picked out of the air. Dump it inside. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. They still don't score. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He throws up the shot. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks can cure. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. The Cavaliers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Moving it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He lets it fly. He nails the shot. the pass they work it around the perimeter in the paint for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is The key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. Virginia are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Number 
30. Draws the personal. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Hits his second. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, bad angle. Timeout. You think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Cross court. Great defense. Here they come now on a turnover. Gave it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They can't keep these guys from scoring. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's open if he wants the shot. Look at that spacing. The ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Ten on the shot clock. Gets the ball and now faces his man down to the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He goes to the free throw line. No good. So timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Eight seconds showing on the shot clock. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Goes for the deep one. Rims out. Shot clock is dead. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills the long range bomb. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. free throw line makes the front end of the one and one no problem so far at the free throw line tonight Dick well they're making the most of the free ones it's good a basket here will make this a two possession game Dick six point lead here they have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one Brian and Dick, the shooting woes continue from behind the arc. Hey, that's a couple in a row now with them come up empty. Well, Dick, 
Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Cavaliers is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.